Greetings, Commanders, and welcome back to another Warpath video. My name is Eagle. We haven't done any uh, kind of Air Force video in a while. So, hey, I said in this video, we're going to be doing the top three best fighter plane officers right now in Warpath in the current meta. So these officers are going to rank being ranked from top three, top two, and top one, which is the best right now officer in Warpath. And we're going to explain exactly why each one of these officers is actually the current best and why is it ranked at this point in time. So let's start off with the Witcher over here. This is not a uh, kind of fighter plane specialized officer. However, these skills over here only speak fighter plane. And let me tell you why. Increasing maneuverability and stability is basically for fighter planes. And it was also a 20% chance to activate a shield of 1000 coefficient when it's maxed out which is insanely massive. The Witcher is actually one of the best officers to focus on right now in Warpath when it comes to early game progression. And when you reach the late game, there's definitely more officers, but this one is definitely gonna rock your early to mid game for sure, and would definitely help you as well in the late game if you're locking two fighter planes as well. In addition to that, he has some uh, damage resistance buff and HP buff as well, which you definitely need in your fighter planes as well. They need them to survive to survive more. And of course, the maneuverability as well to uh, with this officer. And when you max her out, you'll be able to unlock a new skill, which means that when this officer dodges an attack, its damage resistance is increased by 2% for four seconds. And this stacks up to 10 times, which is massive. So that means that whenever you dodge an attack, this is gonna be increasing and you will be able to reach all the way to 20%. And this is actually not that hard because that means if you just choose the right officer, which is just kind of a teaser over here, Silver Comet with her, that's gonna be a massive, massive uh, like increase in dodging and it will help you out a lot. It decreases the damage that you are currently taking. Now, this is one of the best combos, by the way, right now in the game, but let's talk about the number two, which is Polar Phantom. Now, Polar Phantom is a fighter plane and counter specialized officer. This officer over here gives you a damage buff. Uh, like when, when it's attacked or uh, when the fighter plane officer is attacked, this is 50% chance to gain a stack of grid effect. This stacks up to five times and it increases the damage buff of 10%. You can stack this up at mu as much as you want. And this is a 50% chance, by the way. That means it's very high and you can actually stack this up up to five times, which would increase your damage by 50%. Now, if you're lucky enough, of course, you can actually do a lot of damage with this skill, but still depends on luck. That's why it's kind of a little bit not that great for me. But over here, when it comes to this one, uh, it reduces the damage dealt to bombers by 5%, but it increases the damage buff by 25%, which means it's more or less better at dogfighting other fighter planes rather than going for bombers themselves, which is something that is happening a lot right now in the field fighting, and I'm actually seeing that a lot happening in Conquest as well. This over here increases the patrol speed, which is your fighter plane speed when it's outside of combat. It is actually pretty good when you want to reach one place uh, uh, very fast. And it's actually, I see this kind of used a lot right now in the conquest for sure. And of course, a 30% HP buff, which is massive. Now over here, when you awaken your uh, main skill, which is a tactical skill, you will be able to, if you reach five stacks of grit, which is after reaching that, you trigger a skill again with uh, dealing up to three enemy Air Force units of 600 damage coefficient, and this can be triggered every five seconds. This, by the way, is very easy to actually be triggered, and uh, because it's for four seconds, and there's a 50% chance of actually this happening, so that it keeps actually stacking up eventually. But there's a very, very rare chance that this won't happen, because you would have to go four seconds with each second having a 50% chance of actually happening. And especially um, when, a, like, for example, this fighter plane is being attacked by multiple other uh, enemies, I believe this is double. So that means that every single hit has 50% chance, which is something that's actually massive. So it's very easy to actually trigger this. Don't think about this is actually very hard to trigger. And when you awaken him, there's going to be a 600 damage coefficient dealt to three enemy units, which means that it's a total of 1800 damage coefficient dealt. This is a massive officer and he's definitely situational. He works best with dog fights where you have like multiple enemies attacking this officer. That's why he is a counter kind of officer over here. But definitely this officer is one of the best officers that is currently out there. And I definitely highly recommend playing him and upgrading him as well. But for the top of notch officers that are out there, it is Silver Comet. 
And by the way, if you didn't know this, Silver Comet is actually the twin brother of Tip of the Spear. So if you have Silver Comet up, make sure that you have Tip of the Spear up as well in combat, because there's a skill over here that actually depends on these two being outside in combat. This one over here increases the damage buff by 40%, which is massive. And after entering combat, there's a 14% uh, bonus uh, maneuverability. It goes up all the way to 30 over here. And these bonuses are lost after exiting combat. So make sure that you're actually, once you are in combat, you're actually activating them. This increases the intercept buff, which is kind of the alpha damage of this uh, tank, uh, of this uh, uh, fighter plane as well. And also you have a firepower buff by 35% for four seconds after dodging enemy attacks and this is actually very easy to actually be uh triggered he's a dodge uh and especially if you uh pair him up with the witcher it's gonna be super easy to be triggered 35 percent uh firepower is definitely one thing you need on this officer there's a 10 percent critical uh strike rate which is massive and uh when landing a critical strike when it attacks deals an additional 50 percent damage which means that uh you're gonna be doing a lot of damage with this officer you unlock a new passive skill when you actually upgrade him, and after dodging an enemy attack, this officer fighter plane has a 70% chance to deal 200% damage corruption, and this skill can be triggered for every 4 seconds. Now this, da this missile does 10% extra damage if you have tip of the spear deployed as a ground for a troop, so always make sure that you're actually having this guy with tip of the spear both at the same time in combat if you're actually using him actively in combat. And this is why he is right now the best and top notch of the that's out there um we have tested this guy in combat and if you want to check that video out to see how strong this guy is definitely highly recommended he is uh, uh recommended to be paired with the witcher but it's definitely up to you which one you pair it with and depending on what current roster that you currently have this is my top three uh fighter plane officers please leave me in the comments below what are your top three as well or if you agree with me just tell me that this is the best combo out there or the best or the top three that are out there um, and hey, if you did like this video, maybe throw us a like down there and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and we'll definitely see you on the next one. Bye bye.